Hey guys, it's Jason coming in from the Atlanta airport. Hopefully you can hear me, but I do want to comment on this uh, situation with the listings and taking them or not. And I will tell you that I have certainly taken listings that I probably shouldn't have taken and I learned a tough lesson. What I'll say is this, is that if the listing provides opportunity to drive buyers and is located in an area where you can drive calls, then I would endeavor in that opportunity because you don't know what it can lead to as long and I believe Bloom said it best, as long as you set expectations, this is gonna be tough. And when you set expectations too, the expectations, especially if they're friends or referral from friends, I don't want this to ruin our friendship. And we know we're running into a tough scenario. And so if this doesn't sell at this price, I can't have you hold me accountable for that. We gotta make sure we preface and we gotta make sure we set expectations as to why and what the future may hold. Because if they're not realistic, I promise you, if you don't set expectations, they will they will look at you for all the reasons in the world as to why the home didn't sell. So be very strategic while you're taking it. And if you cannot drive buyer opportunity and a decent amount of buyer opportunity, I'll tell you what, I would walk away. And remember that power of no. I'm not taking it because I know I can't do this. But when the next agent takes it at this price and they can't, just remember I was the honest one. I was the honest agent that told you no because I still wanna work with you and I hope I get that phone call. Two things will happen. One, they'll call you the next day and say, we trust your list price, we'll go with you because you were so honest. Or two, they'll call you to be second. Don't be afraid to be second. That's my two cents. No buyers, no listings. Take a listing that's high and may not sell, set the proper expectations. That's the goal. Thanks guys.